Good evening, everybody. Yoko here, along with my good friend and co-host and sidekick for the Game Show Talk and Fun podcast, Dick Clark fan. Welcome. Hey, how's everybody tonight? All right. Uh, recovering my voice after the uh, the game tonight. <laughs> Same here. Folks, tonight on Game Show Talking Fun, our subject was going to be our annual pressure luck discussion. That had to be scrapped because of a tragic event that's happened in our community. Thursday night at about 7 o'clock, Michael Tuff, a good friend of ours, of the game show community in general and of this podcast, Michael Tiller tragically lost his life. We are gathered here tonight to pay him tribute and to share some hopefully fond memories and some and some memories of his game show channel, the Game Show Temple. With us tonight is our guest from last week. Our special guest from last week, Brian Schwartz. Brian, hey, welcome doing to the me? show. We have Elliot Hello. Schiff. Hello. We have Logan. Logan, welcome to the show. Hello. Hey. And we have Chris. Chris, hey. welcome to the show. You can unmute yourself, Chris. Yep. He's Chris still muted. Can, you, uh, can we unmute him? Uh, now. In in two thousand, <coughs> this all start. It all started. You know, my first. Me- I'll go ahead and start. My first memory of Michael Tiller was in two thousand six, when he was one of the guests on the very first episode of this podcast. So, you know, that night, it was just a bunch of us gathered in a, on Blog Talk Radio, uh, just talking about game shows, not knowing what it was going to turn into. It turned into something very nice for a lot of us. Uh, Elliot, we'll start with you. What was your uh, first memory of Michael Tiller? Mm-hmm. Well, first memory was I was YouTube, early days of YouTube, back in the early mid two thousands. I was looking for game shows, and I found this game show temple. I said, "This is cool." And then, um, well, Chris discovered me on uh, my channel on YouTube, and he invited me to invited me to your blog talk radio channels, and then that's where I met Tiller for the first time on okay. Game Show Temple Live. All right, Game Show Temple Live was the sister show to Game Show Talk and Fun for a long time. In case people didn't realize. Uh, Brian, what was your first memory of Michael Tiller? My first memory was also on YouTube. It was around the time that, um, I think it was late 2006 or early 2007. In 2006, Game Show Network had their top 50 game show picks of all time. And so Michael decided he wanted to do it too, so he did his own top 50 game shows of all time, and I thought that was really cool. And then I found his website, and that's when I found out he was getting the three episodes from Cheryl Gilmore of her appearances on Million Dollar Chains of a Lifetime. And he actually got, when I asked uh, Cheryl for them, he actually, or she actually emailed Michael saying, uh, look out for an email from somebody, I think he's going to want those episodes. And that was my first connection with Michael, was that first trade. Chris, what was your first memories of Michael Teller? You just lost Chris, you did? You just lost Chris. We might be having technical problems. Yeah, it's the thing about live. I guess I'll go next then, David. Right, Yoko, what was your first memory of Michael Tiller? I I think it was due to uh, Elliot. I think it 
you know, Elliot and Chris inviting me into the uh, group over on Block Talk Radio. Okay. And everything, and, uh, you know, it was also around the time when uh, Alan was still with us. Because I think that's how I met him. I met I met Michael through our games with uh, Alan. Logan, what was your first memory of Michael Teller? <laughs> oh, man, you're going to have to take me a long way back. So I think I was like, uh, it's quite naughty, but so I was like, like 11, 10, 11 year old kid. And uh, I didn't have a YouTube account, obviously. I couldn't. And the last person, uh, I, we didn't have like, couldn't have a YouTube account until you're 13, obviously. And I remember seeing uh, one of Michael Tiller's project, uh, products, projects, and I, I believe it was the Color of Money. Color of Money, of course, being one of the um, UK game shows. Yes, which flopped horrendously. Yeah. Flopped horrendously, but. Fond memories with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, unfortunately, that's not on YouTube anymore because apparently one of the um, contestants wanted to uh, take it. Yeah, they one of them game. wanted to take themselves off, and um, Michael obliged. So we can't see that again, unfortunately, unless we like act mm -hmm. for it, act for it privately. I noticed he did other ones like the Greeds. The, the millionaire one, which was deleted for the same reason as the Color Bunny one. Right. He did and, one of uh, Monopoly, I remember, a split second. He did a, a Scrabble one, I remember, with Terry Ray. Right. Yeah. Uh, didn't he also do Card Sharks, I believe? He also did Press Your did. Luck. He also did Press Your Luck. I see a few of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Hey, you My... did press... Sorry, go on. Keep going. I'm sorry. All right. I no, that's all right. You. And, um, yeah, it was like 2008, 2009 were made, but that was like one of the first, like, fan game show projects I can even remember. And it was, to be fair, um, uh, now you look at it, now we've got things like, um, I'm not sure if you check them out. Uh, Jet Squad, which is hosted by Kyle Harshaw. Um, everybody everybody's a game show channel. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of game show channels um, nowadays that produce their own shows. I think um, Kevin Henry's one on WKPH Cincinnati, which is like a fictional channel, as we say, yeah. uh, amongst others. Uh, including Alex uh, Paris as well and of course there was also those the anime conventions which you do Scott yep and amongst others yep. but yeah also, um, you know also uh, great go out there of mm -hmm. course that's right yeah. and it's kind of it, yeah he was yeah, really a pioneer he was really a pioneer of the, this kind of yeah. you know community when it came to like on YouTube, of course he had his game show live, game show temple live, blog talk radio show. Right. And you know it was so fascinating. I know I was all we were all young at this time, but this was like you innovation. Were we were all young yeah. ones. Well, you were you were young. I, I was still old. I was already old at that time. Yes. But the first time that was like, but it didn't come into contact until like 2020 when during the pandemic, and that's when he had his own Formula D series. Yeah. We, uh, course, that was a and, collaboration between me and, uh, David. And I started getting really interested. Like, so interested, he even bought the board game. And he was asking if we could have, if there was going to be another season. And I asked, can I be in the season? I said, sure. And then the rest was history. Unfortunately, we didn't finish the season because life. Yeah, caught up with all of us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and of course it's spiraled to what sadly is now. That's yeah. really sad. 
to see how it's ended. Mm. So, but because of that, we are naming the uh, the trophy after him. That's good. Yes. That's right. Yeah. And, um, now that was. That was our decision, uh, David. Yeah. We we talked yes. about that. Yes. Yeah. Now that's. You know. Well, I'm people... glad did that. He... Okay, let's be honest. Everyone ruffles a few feathers, but at yeah. the same time, there are always great guys in them, and Michael Tiller is definitely one of them. And he, you know, he, he always looked happy when he was doing these kind of things. You know, he was always friendly. He was never very. He was never. I've never seen him confrontational before. No, and he was know, always very uh, supportive, even of my streams when I was streaming. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just a real shame. Why do the bad things happen to the good guys? I just that's something I that's something I talked to priest about. Yeah. Uh, I'd have uh, Billy Joel sing it, but uh, I don't know where I can get him. Only the good only the good die young. Uh, exactly. Yes. It's Ow. just. I'm sorry, guys. I'm finding it really hard for yeah. it because. I didn't, honestly, I didn't get to speak to him as much as other people here. But that I, I wish I did. Because he's, he's such a nice guy. And I, I feel, I cannot imagine what his family is going through right now. His mother, uh, who will remain, will remain our identity secret for the privacy and, you know, to pay res as a remark of respect, of course. And all our friends close by. Uh, even, even my fellow streamers. You yes. Know, gave, you know when That's I made the news, I was like talking to a bunch of my other street, uh, other streamer friends, and you know they all offered up their uh, condolences and. A lot of tribute videos out there on YouTube already. Yeah. Within, within, hours, within hours, there were tribute, lots of tribute videos. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. A, there was one that I wanted to do for my channel, but I haven't gotten around to do it because I'm still, uh, I'm just trying to swallow everything now. Yeah, I, I, I've been working all weekend, so I could, could get a chance to. I'll probably work. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Right. <clears throat> and I said, I said, I said this yesterday. My, in my other group, I said the best way to honor honor his, his life is to watch, play, and host game shows. You Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. And our future, or all our future stuff that we do, that we will be always thinking of Michael. Yep. Mm. We've been, yeah. we, already, we already incorporated him into our Monopoly game already. Right. Yeah, yeah special, say, yes, special tribute yesterday, yesterday with him. David, That's as right. they say in the business, he's up there in the big uh, studio in the sky. Absolutely. Hopefully uh, having a good time up there with Alan. Yeah. A and Betty. And, and, Betty, Betty, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Alex and all of the, yep. and all the friends we've lost along. Right, Absolutely. Yeah. He's up there with uh, Alan Mitsugi now. And of course, yeah, Alan Mitsugi was a vile, uh, valued, vile organ. Sorry, I'm just getting yeah. fucked up. He hosted the show many, a, he hosted the show many a nights for me. He did. Yeah. Indeed, right. he did. <clears throat> and, of course. Um, and, and if it wasn't for you, David, and uh, Michael, I wouldn't have known Brian. That's right. Exactly. That, the other Brian as well, too. Yeah, I know. Too many Brians in this group. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I see a college. Too many Daves. Yes. Yeah. Uh, see if you... Uh, I We got a message from uh, Chris. He's having some trouble. Yep. Uh, uh, tell him to... Tell him to jump into one of the into the collab waiting room, and I'll bring him in. On that. Hold on, I'm doing that yeah. right now. It wouldn't be a Discord podcast without Discord being Discord. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're well, 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 live on Twitch yeah. too. So. Yeah. We're live on. We're live on Twitch now. This is where yes. the podcast is conducted now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know why Stream Elements is tough. I'm looking at the chat. 
I don't know why my stream element still has up uh, F122. The, yeah, the title I used for when I did Darn Monaco. It. Don't you have to use a poke command to change memory? This is in a Commodore 64. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, he's, all, he's also up there with another dear good friend of ours, uh, Bill Davis. Absolutely. Yeah. Bill Davis was a good friend. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I came in this... Sorry, I came in this group quite late. Um, like say two years ago uh but you know i've met a lot they, they, these guys these bunch of guys are oh sorry pretty tired um oh, there he is the, oh these God. guys i can tell you are my friends we we talk a lot and here's chris take never mind um but yeah as you say they, they are very trustworthy people here and um if you don't think that, then something's definitely wrong with you. Exactly. Chris, uh, welcome to the show. Yep, Chris, welcome in. Or not. Can you hear us, Chris? No, he can't. Nope. It's, ah. oh, I think on. he's configuring it wrong. Hmm. Hold on. No. Let me bring him down. Yep. Yep. Yeah, tell him not to hit the, the button on there. Yeah, Chris, don't hit the button. You're in the. I brought you into the room, so you're good. Yeah, he's muted. <laughs> yep. Uh, David, you want to tell him on uh, Discord? I mean, on uh, on Facebook, that he's in the room. Yeah. Oh, he can't hear anyone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. Um. Uh, Go go to the bottom of your screen. Click 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 with the earphones on it. Maybe he probably has them. He probably has that uh, yeah. earphones. Yeah. Go to the bottom of the screen to the left. You see a microphone and earphones and a, a gear. Click the earphones. Probably uh, that'll probably help you. Yeah. Right, we see. apologize for our technical difficulties. Yes. We are currently in All right, now yeah. he's got both muted. Yeah, click click the earphones again. And then click click the microphone. Click the microphone. Can you hear us, sir? Can you hear us, Chris? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. We got it. <laughs> Chris, yeah. welcome to the show. Yep, Chris, welcome in. Oh, boy. Why don't you tell us of your first memories of Tiller? Yep. My first memories of Tiller. Well, uh, to be honest with you, I was doing a YouTube search of, like, game show stuff, and uh, his temple popped up. And I said, oh, all right, took a listen of some of the stuff he was doing. And then they had the BTR broadcast. And um, after that, I just kind of called in and kind of didn't know what to expect. And then all of a sudden, just kind of fit right in. So that was kind of like my first memories of, yeah. of him. He was like, a, you know, it's kind of like a, like a, what's the best way to describe it? Like a straight shooting kind of like Georgia boy, you know? <laughs> he was from Georgia. That's right. I didn't know at the time, but I was like, oh, I'm just from the South. <laughs> so, so that's kind of my first memory, is just uh, getting involved in the old BTR days. Right. And I think that that's also how I met most of you guys as well, too. It's true. Yeah, from the BTR days. Especially, I think that started when we were all with, when uh, Kyle was running it all, too. That's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. I wonder what happened to Kyle Wheeler. He's they, the they had a falling out. Yes. Which is a shame because we're very close. I know. I, I, felt wanna... so, I felt so bad when I heard about that. but Yes, yeah, same here. Why did they have yeah. a falling out? Uh, it was a uh, disagree was... disagreement on uh, Jep Squad. Oh, all right. Or uh -huh. a different that? Jep Squad. Does, does he even know about Tiller's passing or no? I don't uh, know. I, I post I posted on my face on my Facebook, so maybe uh, if he if he saw that, like he, he, I don't think he's I don't think he's been on Facebook the past past week or so. So I yeah, he's probably busy with work. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's true. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll I'll take give it a look. The first the other thing I remember was listening to his uh, interview that he did with that one contestant from uh, the Challengers. Uh, Larry? No, not Larry. Uh, what was his name? 
Uh, the one who won the tournament. Dan Newman, and that wasn't him. That was me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't. Oh, that was us. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, oh, no, okay. the one he the one he talked to was Cheryl Gilmore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I remember listening to. Yeah. He talked to Cheryl Gilmore. We talked to Stan Newman. That's right. And he also, I believe, he also interviewed the first, the only contestant to win the trip around the world on uh, Face the Music. Yes, he did. He talked to Sarah Beth yeah. Rothfield. We talked to her briefly one night with mm-hmm. because we were talking about you know memorable moments in television history on the show one night, and she was witnessing David Blaine. First attempt at Drowned Alive. Oh. Ooh. Mm. She don't was actually that. there. Yeah, I she was don't remember that there. show. Yeah. Well, Drowned Ooh. Alive was a was a stunt that David Blaine attempted. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. it was not. It was. It wasn't a game show. It was, it was, it was, David Blaine's a stunt man. Yeah, he's a um, magician. He's a ma- magician, yeah. street magician. Yeah. Yeah. In other uh, words, the the street is his stage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but another one that I finally remember was uh, the conversation we had with Thomas Van Dyke, the uh, biggest winner of the Joker's Wild. Now that what? was Michael Teller. Yes. Yeah. The one that won all that money, and then they decided to he decided to give some of it to charity and everything. No, no, no. Jo- Joker's Wild ninety. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you. When you said that, I was thinking of yeah, Jack Barry. Yeah. I should have. Uh, yeah, I should have said it ninety at first. Yeah, the uh, yeah. the Pat Finn version. Exactly. <clears throat> and everything. So anyway. So anyway, like I said, as far as I was, far as I knew, you know, here was this young teenager calling into the show the very first night. And had, and was very uh, knowledgeable of some of the game shows we were talking about. That led to several shows that he was able able to come on, and he started his own. Right. I've I've been playing. Now, I, played, I played a few of his games too on his on his on, on his game of Chip Alive. Yeah. Yeah. Few of the uh, anyway. Uh, Another one of Michael's passions was video games. Yes. Yep. That's right. And he, 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 he seemed to do his, tet, his Tetris 99 runs. Yes. Yes. That's right. That, and that and his love of uh, Bob Ross. That's right. Yes. Yeah. He's up there with Bob Ross now, too, now I think about it. Yeah. He's, he's having happy accidents with him. <laughs> painting, You're damn right. Uh, he's painting happy little trees. He actually right. showed me one of the paintings he did following uh, Bob Ross's technique. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, um, the other, the um, other um, passion of Michael was photography. photography. Well, he had two others. Photography was one of them. Formula yes. One racing. And Formula One racing. Yep. That's right. Hence why, loved... was, yeah, hence why he was always there for when I streamed. And, you know, we were always talking about stats and everything during the streams. And, you know, like like uh, Logan posted in the uh, in the server, you know, it's just, it's just going to be a little empty. It's just... Feels like a, a little empty now. Indeed. You know, without having no. someone who's been there, you know, who, from when I first started my journey here on Twitch. It's oh, it's always now. there. Looking at our members in our groups, uh, we have to. <laughs> Several of them are not with us anymore. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We lost Alan. We lost Bill. Alan, Bill. Yeah. yeah all at a uh, young age. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, Bill, Bill, Bill is at 65. Jim Williams. 
We lost Jim Williams as well. Don't remember if him. If you really want to go way back to uh, the internet days, the early internet days, there was Randy Amasia. Yeah. And I know, and I know the the, um, guy, was the guy on Few? Yeah, yes. he was the winner on Few and Jeopardy. Yeah. Uh. Yep, and I remember, I remember the, uh, the hard work that David and everyone pulled together to get him his episode, because I've heard that story countless of times. Absolutely, yeah, that was even more depressing, I yeah. think, the first yeah. time I heard it. He, he literally died, like, two hours after we found the tape. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get to see do you get to see it? No. 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 We found yeah, the tape, but it was too late. Right. Oh no. No. But, it's but almost... hopefully hopefully he got buzzer up uh, up above. Yeah. yeah. I hope he did. Yeah. So that he yes. got to see it with the rest of us on buzzer. Yeah. It's well it's up his episodes up there on YouTube. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah, it's just just, I think it says, uh, not for broadcast. Yeah, it was a studio master. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Michaels. He... Yeah. Now, what brought many of us, I will admit, me and Michael had a falling out for a little while. We came back together because of our love of Formula One racing, and then he said, "You know, we're thinking about. I'm thinking about doing this Formula D tournament." I, th- I was like, "Yeah, I'm in." I think that was after I showed you the software or something. Yes, but you showed it to me. I showed it to Michael. Michael fell in love. And yeah, we started off. We started things anew, and we were friends until yeah, because he was even, he was even working on the new maps that we were going to update the uh, the things with. That's right. And I don't know if we're still going to do it, but I think somebody said they wanted to try and make hard copies of. Uh, the maps because to get copies on eBay is ridiculous amounts of money. Well, we have the P- we have the PDFs for that. Mm-hmm. Of the yeah, class, yeah. yeah, we have all of them. Yeah, we have all of them. Okay, good. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see some of them this season. Well, we have to we have, we have to find someone who's good with using Photoshop and. Uh, Now, for those of you that are listening, I don't know what we're talking about. Formula D is a board game. A very good board game. It's a, it's a Formula One simulator. Yeah, yes. it's a Formula One. It simulates Formula One racing with dice rolls. It's pretty Hence, much what it does. Hence the term Formula D. D standing right. for dice. Unlike what you guys see me do every day on my day off when I'm here on Twitch. For three hours. It's not a video no. game. It's a, it's a very, it's a, it's a, we're going to take time. Yeah. Right. It takes a lot of time. Oh, I'm just, I'm just letting people know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but we all have a, I would like to think we've all had a good time with it. The last two it. seasons, yeah. I will admit, you know, life happened to me. I got sick both seasons and had to set out right i got a new job yeah. mm-hmm. in season two so you had to start setting out and i think also in season two everybody went back to work full time pretty much yeah 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 so we had to you know but see <laughs> the season one champion is in this room tonight season one champion was brian schwartz yes right. well by a tiebreaker by a tiebreaker Exactly, but by a tiebreaker, but he was the season one champion. That's right. And I was technically the winner of the unfinished second season. Yes. yes. Due to, well, what led to his, it didn't really lead to his death, but. No, but shortly after the more. season was terminated, is when Michael got sick. Yeah. Exactly. Um, 
And the shame of it all is that uh, it's not what killed him was not what we thought might have taken him because he had heart problems for a long time. Now that I didn't right. know. Mm -hmm. No, I that did. wasn't what did him in. And that's not what did him in. That's right. Yeah. It's always the unthinkable. Yeah, it is. Right. Now, Even... Chris. Yeah. Uh, what is your fondest memory of Michael Teller? You told us what your first memory of was, and what's your fondest memory? Well, that's a good question. I mean, the fondest memories, you know, I, I can't, I want to pinpoint one. I think it's all the, um, kind of the, if I had to sum it up, I'd say the times we've interacted, uh, you know, through just like different, um, different shows, different banter here and there, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like, you know, it's, it was the little moments that he had, uh, you know, when he, um, you know, the running joke is, of course, number 20. He right. thought it was a corner. And, uh, you know, we were, it was yeah, we were, a five-by-five we... five grid, and he said, I'll take the corner number 20. <laughs> you know, moments like that. Or like... Uh, um... and I think also about his... The, the other joke was also about his pants. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is, this is um, I think it was, it was, it was a... Kyle Wheeler would run these games, and if you if you lost if you lost, he make you do some sort of torture. So that he, the one the one torture that Michael had on undergo was he had to say, "I'm not wearing any pants." And ever since then, it's been a running joke. Slur does not have pants on, and that's 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 been a running joke for several years during Kyle, Kyle's shows. Mm -hmm. Right, and I think it also was a little bit of a running joke when you took over. When I took over what? When you took over doing uh, play to win. Oh, Chris took over, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think some of the funniest ones were, um, like I said, the unexpected moments. Uh, you know, like I asked, asked him a simple question. I, I, I remember this one. I go, uh, we were playing a game, and I said, well, Mike's your question. Uh, what are the three types of rock? And the answers are, uh, you know, igneous. Igneous, metamorphic, and uh, sedimentary. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You <laughs> classic rock. <laughs> Classic rock and uh, <laughs> <punk> rock. <laughs> those, it is, like those moments where you, you just crack up because it's like you, you never expect them. I think that's one of the fondest memories. It's like and when you when you talk to him, sometimes you just didn't know what was gonna right. what was gonna occur, which makes. Um, it, makes I give you an example of how com competitive Formula D can get. Um, I was in the lead or ahead of Michael. Uh, I was just about in the pits and uh, michael was coming towards the pits and he i oh yeah <laughs> block, i basically blocked his way in and he says in a sinister voice gd it brian <laughs> yes i remember that we had a sense of that yes. <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. i cleaned uh, it up for you or yeah. the, i think it was also the time where the were you and him uh, double DNF'd? That's right, yeah. And I think it was at, like, Mon was it at Monza, or? I don't remember. Well, those of you listening at home, DNF stands for it does not finish. That means they, they, their car crashed before they could crash out before they could finish the race. Yes. That's right. Players now know. And now exactly. you And knowing it's half the battle. G.I. Joe. What's the other half? Oh my God! Get the car now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My fondest memory of Michael is not from a. It's not from a. Uh, it's not from something that occurred in the game show circuit. It's something that occurred in a game of Mario Party Superstars. Oh, nice. Me and him were going neck and neck in a game of Mario Party Superstars. <clears throat> I would win, win a mini game, he would win a mini game. I would win a mini game, he would win a mini game. Game. I'd get a star, he'd get a star. It went back and forth until it took a literal tiebreaker for until that happened to determine who won the game. He ended up winning, and the yell in my ears was like, happy as a lark. 
I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was just, you know, ha- you know, having that banter in chat and having him come on the streams every now and then when he was able to. You know, exactly. we would just sit there and talk, you know, F1 or about, you know, the current race that happened that past weekend or, you know, facts about, you know, the sport or about, mm-hmm. you know, the track <clears throat> where I'm, you know, the circuit that I'm racing at now or, you know, the driver stuff, you know, like who's going where at predictions. Mm-hmm. I say probably my fondest memory uh, was very recent. Um, you know how in the game show community you'll sometimes get people like, oh, do you have this show? I was on it, or my cousin was on it, or my pet was on it. Okay. <laughs> Something what is, ridiculous. What is this? Like that. Uh, stupid pet tricks? Pretty much, no. Um, Michael had actually received a uh, comment on one of his videos. It was uh, Andrew and Michael winning the million dollars, and she actually asked him, do you have the other episodes, because I don't have any of them. And he came to me, and he asked me, do you have them? And I had just recently got them in a trade, so we were able to... He was able to put them on YouTube and let Andrea see these shows again. And this was the $1 million chance of a lifetime? Yes, it was. And we both had a great time uh, asking her questions about the experience and what they did with the money and all that great stuff. Sorry, I'm not talking much. By the way, I just uh, I'm just listening along. So it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Same right. yeah, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to talk that much tonight. Yeah, no, that's fine. Go on, you deserve it. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. close, Sam. You did not. Now we have things. two. We have a few Philadelphia Eagle fans in the gallery tonight. So you yes. know, needless to say, they're on cloud nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. They're heading to the Super Bowl. We're heading that. to Arizona. Yep. yep. Right. Where, everyone, where everyone gets a free iced tea when they land. Exactly. Yeah, just like, Folks, just we like have Al- a... I was going to say, just like Albuquerque, where Weird Al said the, said the air smells like warm root beer. <laughs> and the towels are oh, so fluffy. Yes. <laughs> Actually, uh, to be honest about that, one of my uh, dearest... Dear good streaming friends was actually from Arizona, uh, from Albuquerque. He said, "They said, nope, the air does not smell like warm root beer." No, but did, did he take a wrong twin in Albuquerque? He was actually. Like they, were, they, in Albuquerque. they were actually from Albuquerque. <laughs> so, and they have been very supportive on this, you know, throughout when I posted the, posted the news and everything. Awesome. So, yeah. As you were saying, David? Now, you know, I was, how would you say, this, we've covered, many of us don't know Michael well enough to know, you know, his entire life. You know, we know bits and pieces of it, but we can't fill in the gaps, you know. He also so had people, a cat. He also had a thing. He also had a pet yeah. cat too. Yeah, yeah yes, he, he left did. his cat. He yeah, left every his time cat. the cat would come up, he said, "Hey, girly girl. Hey, girly girl." I think he had. <laughs> yeah. Did he have two or just one? I think it was just. I don't know. I, don't I, think, know. It just, I think it was just the one. But it, it always interfered. It always interfered with our Formula D games. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Wid- it was Widget that was always uh, doing that. Mm. That was the cat's name. One of them, how do we say this? How do I say this? Uh, hold on a sec. All right. He's looking for the words. Yeah. Uh, That's what it is. Start with Scott. Scott, yes. where were you when you got the information that I was at Michael work. Was- Michael was no longer with us. You you actually called me when I was at work. Cuz I haven't I wasn't clocked in yet and you know you you 
you called me on uh, Facebook to give me the news. Elliot, where were you? Well, oh, I, I just came home from work. I, all, all week I was like, all, while I was at work, I was checking my phone every couple hours to see if anything was happening. And um, then I get home from work. It was, I get home from work around 4.30 and all of a sudden you posted on in our, in our um, my in my chat on, on Facebook, our, our group chat. We go, you said you announced the news there. Yeah. That's how I found out. Cause Logan, how did you find out? Um, same way. I'm trying to remember. Uh, sorry, what did you say it was, David? Um, I, I said. Wait, wait, did you? How did you find out that when I find out that Taylor died? I think it was on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, because I contacted you, Logan, right after David got off the phone with me. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you I were, I think you were getting ready to head out the door or something. See, the, yeah, the, the um, funny thing about all of this was, it was me getting that cryptic message from his Facebook. What cryptic message? Goes, Chris. Remember, I reached out to you about it. What was the message? I don't remember the exact message you you said that you were um, somewhere things aren't looking. He was concerned that something wasn't working or something going well or something like that or yeah, the, it uh, was... the, the IV or something or the oh yeah no. the, the message cat? that I got uh, am I am I okay to share it David not in the extent not in detail okay general so basically. I got a message saying, you know, you know, that he was, that he was in ICU. Yeah. In the ICU unit and things were not looking good for him. And then I, and then that's when I talked to you, Chris, right after I got that. Yeah. I, I just remember that he had some setback. Yeah, because the yeah, funny you, thing about it was the person that was typing it misspelled his name. I, I think his mother was on the account for a while. I think she's it's on like, the account what, right it, now. It's toward the end, toward the, end the, mother was, the mother was using it because obviously Michael couldn't. Right, because mm -hmm. I think she wanted to give out the, you know, she wanted to pass on the information to all of us. Exactly, yeah. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, Michael had hit my phone number in his phone, so I was wondering... Is his mother gonna go through his phone and call everybody? Yeah, he's on, he's on my Michael's on my phone too. So. Yep, Michael oh, yeah, was even funny. nice enough to help. Right uh, when I, I, was I doing, gave yep, when I was getting ready to do the shows virtually at the start of the pandemic, <laughs> Michael was even nice enough to help uh, get prizes for all that. So, you know, thank you once again for all that. You know, helping me get the start again to do the. Uh, to do my panels to make sure we That's had true. the prizes to give out. Mm -hmm. Brian, how did you find out? I also found out on you, or not YouTube, I'm sorry, Facebook. <laughs> Getting jumbled up here. Uh, I was I at home. I was at home, and uh, it was just before Jeopardy when I found out, and I was bawling during the entire show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. yeah, it, was, it was hard. It was hard for me to watch. Watch, watch Jeopardy too. It was like, uh, it's hard to watch. It's like having that. Like somebody. Like, like it's like somebody had punched me in the stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I had just come from a long night, and uh, you know, and that just spoiled my day. Everything was going so well that first day. I was just And I was supposed to visit my grandmother who's in her eighties but looks looks and... absolutely brilliant. I uh, can't say much more because and... obviously it's my family and I don't want to like reveal them on stream to the whole world. <laughs> but you get the point. Yeah. And but... I, I put a brave face on during the the, the, the next day because they live like a hundred miles away from me, so right. well... Um, being in Scotland, <laughs> that's a lot. Because <laughs> yeah. Scotland's like 50 times smaller than the USA. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say, Logan, you know, grandparents are always good at figuring that kind of stuff out, you know, when things aren't, go when things aren't going well. 
They actually didn't notice it. They actually, because I didn't tell any of my family because, you know, uh, obviously I keep my family and, uh, you know, friends like separate because, um, you know, it's not in their business. And, and the fact that they've got too many friends of their own, so. Yeah, I told exactly. much. Yeah, I told a few of my streamer friends and everything and, you know, they, they were there for, you know, helping to support me because, you know. I'm still not over mm. this, you know, I had a, you know, I did the smart thing and not stream for the last few days. So Absolutely. To, yeah. And, um, I'm going to make this uh, proclamation on here. I was going to go in one direction on my next game show junkie episode, but I think I'm going to have to go in another direction Yeah. to pay, to pay tribute to Michael. Yeah. yeah. In conclusion, gentlemen, you know, Michael was with us only 35 years, but. 35 years is too short for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Yes, I agree. That's why I said only 35 years. Michael but, was only with yeah. us 35 years. But, but his Game Show channel will be with, with us forever. Yes. Right. Now, I can't say, you know, the Game Show Temple, as far as I know, the it's episodes closed. are be no more episodes will be will be uh uploaded right. obviously but what right. is there will be left and i can tell you you know um like i said if you're interested in formula d and five of us in this room are right you know the championship trophy is being named in michael's honor from now on and I, I just got to ask a few of my streamer friends who actually do art to see if they're able to do the, uh, to design the trophy for us. Now, if you are listening to this, and I hate to do this, but if you would, Michael would want us to continue on. Okay. Right. He would. Exactly. You bet. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Michael, Michael would want us to go on. And so if you're interested in participating in season three, just get in touch with myself, uh, Yoko, or anybody in the chat tonight. Sorry. Sorry, Chris. I know uh, your Formula D may or may not be your thing, but I know you don't have much to do with it. Right. So I was going to say, if anything, get in touch with me. Uh, send, you can send me a DM, or uh, is it okay for DMs to be sent out to you as well, uh, Dick Clark fan? And, uh, yes. Elliot, Elliot, are you yes. okay with getting a DM? Yeah, that's fine. That would be Mountain Hawk. Mountain Hawk PYL on Discord. Yep. And uh, Logan, are you fine with that? What, sorry? Are you fine with receiving a DM from people that would like to be, that would like to participate in the, uh, in the Formula D champion? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Yep. So. Michael, if you're up there listening to us, buddy, we love you. We miss you. Say hi to our friends for us up there. Yes. Absolutely. We all do. Godspeed, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Our next broadcast will be in two weeks. We'll uh, be talking about... Hey, David, two weeks is the Super yeah. Bowl. That's not a good idea. All right. Next, I, the Pro Bowl, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Man. Our next broadcast will be in three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> I was going to say, I was gonna say uh, maybe ne next week if we can do it. No, but next week is the Pro Bowl, so we can't do it next week either. True. Uh... Folks, our next broadcast should be, let's put it that way, should be in three weeks, and we'll be talking about pressure luck. We hope you're with us then. And yes. like I said. And, and then, also we'll we'll talk about the Super Bowl as well too. Yes. And like I said, Michael, if you're up there, we love you. We miss you, buddy. Yep. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Folks, can we're we, all of us here. Can we Go just ahead. have a uh, a moment of silence? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Folks. This wasn't an easy broadcast to do. And, no. you know, we never thought we'd be doing it. Right. Then once again, for those of you who actually missed this episode uh, live, we will have this uploaded on our just on our YouTube channel. So please do check us out over at Lost Silver Productions as well. Uh, Brian, I'll send you a copy so you can put it up on your channel as well. Yes, thank you. Yep. So you have to you have to just give me your email afterwards on this. Mm -hmm. But I know a few of us here have other things that we're getting ready to do tonight, and so yeah, I got to do a few things myself, guys. So let's yep. wrap it up, yep. folks. Like I said, our next broadcast should be in three weeks. We'll be talking about Press Your Luck. We hope you're with us then. So for everybody here, Chris, Elliot, Logan, Brian, Yoko, I'm forgetting somebody. Logan. 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 Yeah. Well, Hello, sorry. I muted for the minute, moment of silence. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. okay. Uh, Folks, go ahead. Go ahead, Scott. Uh, real quick, uh, for those of you who are following me on my schedule, uh, I will be streaming tomorrow, Formula One, at noon. So I will see, hopefully, <coughs> I'll see you guys uh, for the next uh, the stream tomorrow at noon. I hope so. Yep. Folks, for all of us here at Game Show Talk and Fun, I'm David Hammond. I'm Yoko. Have a great. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next. We'll see you after the Super Bowl for uh, pressure luck for our regularly scheduled episode of Pressure Luck. Until then, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. Good night. Good night.